And I recently cheated on my girlfriend of four years via a one night stand. I'm the worst human being in the world and still very much in love with my girlfriend who I wanted to marry. I was in a low place and I did a fucked up wrongful act. I, I cry every night knowing how much I just crushed her. What are the steps to take to care for her, show support and allow her to grieve, but not yet give up on us? Cute. Okay. That's very cute. I think it's really sweet that he submitted it. I think there's three things right off the bat. I think it... There, okay, so the first thing is she's going to have... It's going to be like she was... She's got PTSD. Every time he checks his phone, she's going to think it's another girl. Every time he's out late, she's going to be like... you know. So he has to prove to her and he has to go above and beyond like... It's, it's the kind of thing that your guy friends make fun of you for mm -hmm. when you're like, I'm just going home. I'm not going out with you. If I go out, she's coming with me. Like he has to pet the dog every day for six months to a year to let the dog know that the owner's not abandoning it because the dog is like upset. Right. So we just take care of that. I'm assuming I'm hoping when he cheated on her, he was drunk. I thought about this a lot last night because it poses the question, are drunk actions a product of sober thoughts? I think sometimes they are, but I have done things drunk that I would never do sober because I literally am dumber. So I, it's not a pass, but if you cheat on him or her completely sober, I think we just have a whole other slew of problems. Like that to me was like unforgivable, I would say. Sober cheating? Yeah. See, I think drunk cheating is more unforgivable for me because... I don't know if that would make me never trust them drinking again. Because I'd be like, how am I ever supposed to let you go out and drink? Because sober, I'd be like, okay, what, are, what do we got to work through? What do we got to work on? Mm -hmm. Like, you did it sober, but drunk, I'm like, well, next time you get drunk, are you just going to cheat on me again? Can't swallow that And one-off, right? Not an affair. Got to be a one-off. We got a shot with a one-off yeah, in so this if, scenario. If you had a one-night stand, is that, um, we, we can agree he had sex, I would assume. Yeah. I don't know if I'm that's, getting over it. Uh, it's hard. I'm wondering why we haven't broken up. I got. I have to say that. I think you have to. The fact that it's nice that she forgave him, but I think if the punishment doesn't match the crime, there's a chance it happens again. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a really good point, actually. This punishment doesn't seem to be matching the crime. Listen, I'm glad you're crying every night. That's a good sign, honestly, that you feel remorse. But like, why'd you do it? Yeah. Yeah. And the step, I mean, it, you got a lot of steps to take from here. I, I will say this. We get a lot of questions about somebody cheating or relationship problems. And I feel like a lot of people look to my success story of having a husband that cheated on me. And they almost want it to be like a pass of like me telling them it's okay. And I was thinking about it last night and I'm like, take any other route. Like, I don't feel like I fully articulated yet what I went through. It was one of the hardest breaks I've had to make. And you, you have, the path isn't easy. You're breaking your, you're voluntarily breaking your heart every day, but you have to fully break up with the person to teach them the lesson. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of these people are DMing it and it's like, but it's okay. Right? Yeah. Like, what did you have to do? And like, you kind of knew it's like, no, no, no part of me knew we were fully broken up. And to go through that, you're not sending the DM because you're so heartbroken. You're not even asking because you fully let it go. Yeah. And is it safe to say that, like, Graham worked his ass off to get you back? Yeah. I, he, he's, like, suggesting to people, like, just basically don't even try getting it back because it's, like, you know, and it's in, in this scenario, it's, like, whatever the path is to success and making her feel good, I can just promise you it's not easy. And if it feels like you can't go one more day, you're probably on it. Mm -hmm. that's probably it yeah i know I, I i agree i think a lot of people go to you because of your success story and they're like well alex would just let it like it worked for her it's gonna work for everyone and it's like that's not the case because you don't know exactly what you guys went through right right and i, I maybe one day i needed to tell it better but i feel like a lot of the dms i've been reading lately are these stories and they're like but tell me it's gonna be okay and it's like mm -hmm. When it's not okay, that's when you maybe have a shot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hard one. It's so tough. It, yeah. You can't give anyone a solid answer. It's like you can't. Part of me is like, oh, if Mike cheated on me right now, obviously I would forgive him. 
But then I'm like, but then I feel like I wouldn't even know who he is. Cause that's yeah. what I like so much about me is like how much he lo- loves me. Mm-hmm. So it's like, do you even love me? So it's, therefore like, who even are you? It's so situational. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, then our whole relationship is not what I thought it was. It's like, the more you think about it, the more can of worm, like the more problems it gives more than just, oh, like you fucked someone else. Well, and how old, it's like, how old are yeah, you? Yeah, like, are they living together? Yeah, Maybe. cause like when you're, I mean, at this age, no, I probably wouldn't forgive the person, but if I'm 40 and we've been dating for five years and we're about to get married, maybe I would forgive them because life's Mm -hmm. different. Maybe vice versa. I don't know. But so it's like, how old are you? Do you live together? Like, how long have you been dating? What's the background? Like, why do you cheat? Have you been having fights? It's like, it's just too situational. Like, we need more details. Yeah. Yes. And I do agree. I, that was one of the biggest things too was when it happened. I was like, but I don't know you. Because the you I know didn't do that. Would never do that. So who are you? And that's why it requires the, cl- I think, requires a tough word because I do think every situation is different. I, what worked for me was a very clean break because on the other side of it was a new person. But I kept telling her every day, like, you got to go change for you and then come back to me. Mm-hmm. And that was really important because then I felt like I knew that person. Because it's also yeah. like, if she doesn't break up with him at all, then it's like, okay, then you're you've accepted this so you must move on now yeah from his point of view it's like well you you're not breaking up with me so you've forgiven me on some level so let's speed this process up you know and he would get like annoyed probably that she's still grieving for x amount of time and in five years when his cute co-worker is knocking on his door He'll be like, I could do it again because, well, the last time I did it, I mean, we did get through it, but like nothing really happened. So like, you know, I'll never do it again after this one. Go home, tell her. It's like, but if you put the fucking kibosh down, he's like, "Uh uh-uh. What's that? Like the, like the. I think my favorite (laughs) thing you guys have told me was, um, I think it was like both you guys coming together when you were saying you almost have to date like the new person but literally like they have so much time has to go by and so much work has to go into them where like when you meet them again it is like you're redating this brand new person like you're meeting a, a whole new person they look the same but they're a different person and a better mm-hmm. person and you fall in love with that person all over again or, yeah uh, not all over again a new person yes mm-hmm. yeah i think that's the only way a breakup getting back together situation works or cheating getting back together situation works mm-hmm. i agree with that yeah fully agree with that and and it's one of those things where you would go to your friends and you would that would be a tough question to answer if do you want um comfort or solutions because it's like the the solution most friends should give you is break up with him Mm -hmm. and then that and when you're the friend so you say break up with him i remember my friends didn't drag graham through the mud but they did say you do need to break up with him but they were like fuck graham like we hate him because i did get back together with him thank god they weren't mean to him they were just they attacked the situation not the person and so i think in this scenario it's tough because people that love you should say leave him but then you're not leaving him and so it's just like everyone in your life needs to meet the new person yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, this sounds like this guy, I think the best thing he can do is, like, go work on himself. Yeah. Because if you're doing things drunk that you don't like, like, what's stop. the problem? Yeah, stop. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, what's eating at you inside? Attack the source. Yeah. Yes. And don't take it out on the people you love. At a min- yes. minimum, yeah. I would be like, you can't drink anymore. That's what I mean. That's not fair, though. Yeah. Either party. You're right. You don't run the rest of hit. Like, he has to come to that on his own. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. could do that, though. He could go to her and say, I'm not drinking anymore. But then she's going to have to say, okay, you're going to take away your social life. Are you willing to do, like, are you going to resent me yeah. in five years? Like, can you imagine if you were like, Graham, you can't drink. Like, him coming to that conclusion three years later on his own. Healthy. And he's not mad at me. He's never mad at me for it. He no. does. I'm like, do what you want. Yeah. Yeah. 